Hey guys, it's Aces at Alarms here, and today I'm going to be making a video about the Space Age Electronics V33 Fire Alarm Visual Strobe. This is a nice strobe. This one's from about the 90s, from the date, and this is going to be an overview and test of this device. And also an in-depth look of how it works inside. So you can see here, this is the front cover. This is normally attached to the back, but I've removed the screws so we can have a look at the inside and how it works. So I'm going to remove the back cover from the device so that we can take a look at the front cover. You can see it's thick molded plastic, good quality. These letters are molded in properly. Uh, I find a lot of the newer devices like the system sensor spectral alerts are really bad in this area. The um, letters aren't made very well so they like, rub off over time, but this one that would never happen. Like, this used to be covered partially in paint, and I just took some lighter fluid to it and cleaned it off, and the letters are fine. You can see there's some leftovers. Um, you can see the writing on the front there that's a space age. I think some of the older ones have. I think it's only the older strobes that have these. I don't think the newer ones do, and the lights don't have them, I don't think. But I don't know. I don't own any of the lights or any of the other devices. This is a very nice lens. I really like this lens. It's very well made, thick. It sort of has a texture to it. Nice little texture there. Um, good quality plastic woman. These nubs are for a space age back box. Um, so they fit in there and this has a good secure connections. Um, and speaking of that, the, this doesn't fit. One of the downsides is this doesn't fit on a standard back box. You need a space age back box, which I don't own, so I'm going to 3D print one. Um, that's a cover. I can actually 3D print more of these, um, V33s. Now let's take a look at the strobe unit, and then we'll put it together and test it. Okay, so here's the strobe unit. You can see the strobe tube, xenon strobe tube, is in there. Never touch these with your fingers, because it'll degrade the life of it. And there's a capacitor in there. A capacitor is like a battery. It holds a charge briefly, and then lets it out. And that um, large amount of power causes a bright arc um, inside this tube, and that's what causes your flash on your strobe. Uh, I couldn't get this quite open to show you guys the capacitor. Uh, actually, I should have grabbed the true alert so I could show you, like a dismantled true alert or something, so I could show you how um, the capacitor looks. But it's kind of like a black tube. It looks kind of like a battery. I'm sure people, I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen them. You can see it says B33 and there's UL information there. Um, hopefully this thing focuses. This phone. Now just pause that. If you're interested, oh, sorry about that, it's upside down there. Um, I really like this, it's a good device. Um, C sheet AV DAT1. I found this on the internet, yeah, 93. That's pretty, that's actually pretty early for these strobes. Uh, they never actually, I don't think they made them in the 2000s, but like, uh, I think the, the lights are in the 80s and they started migrating to the strobes in the 90s. And then they just stopped making these devices, and now they have a new system. Um, it's like, it looks like those Decora, like those modern switches. Like, it, it's kind of like that system, where like the cover's separate. Which is kind of neat. There's a sticker in there from the factory to identify that it's been tested, or verified, or completed, or something. Um, now let's assemble this and test it. So we can put this cover back in here, and it has a nice tight fit. And the, and the screws you can put back in another time. I'm not going to make you guys sit through that. Now, we'll flip this the right ways up. And we'll hook up the batteries. Um, don't mind if this takes a few seconds. Because I have like two 9 volt batteries coupled. And I have to get the right polarity in. It's annoying. See? It flashes. Doesn't show up very well on camera. Now I'm going to hit the lights. And I'll try that again if I can find the wires in the dark. Oh god. Yeah, that's how it looks in the dark. This is, I'd say, um, I'd say this is a very good device. And if you find one of these for a decent price online or antique store or wherever, be sure to get it because it's, it's great. Honestly, guys, it's worth every penny. Be sure to find one of these. Mine was five bucks. Pretty good deal. Uh, that, that was at a local used electronics parts store. Like they always have bells and fire alarm devices. That's where this came from. It's very nice. Um, so, highly recommended 10 out of 10 device. 
As always, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and have a nice day.